Abnormalities of pupil size, shape and location may be reasons for pupil reconstruction. We would like to report a case of severe pupil ovalization after an angle supported phacic IOL implanted bilaterally in 1995 to correct high myopia. The Irish prosthetic system is a modular system of combinable elements designed for in the back fixation and insertion through a small incision. The patient came to our clinic complaining of glare, photophobia and decreased visual acuity. The diagnosis and determination of the degree of pupil ovalization were done at the slit length. Severe pupil deviation beyond the edge of phacic IOL optic. We decided to treat the case with Irish prosthetic system designed by Oftec. Two step surgeries were needed one month apart after a male photophobia persisted and asymmetric IPS fixation in the back was suspected. After the first surgery, one IPS was implanted after fake emulsification of the lens. In the second surgical intervention, we confirmed that the inferior plate of the IPS was out of the capsular bag, causing implant dislocation toward the temporal side. We choose for vasodissection and distend the back and reposition the inferior IPS plate to and in the back situation and improve its orientation to cover the aneuridic sector. Anterior and posterior capsular leaf separation with spatula to create more space, allowing IPS rotation and supplementation with a second iris prosthesis for in the back fixation. Insertion of IPS through a small incision did not represent a special challenge and is a straightforward maneuver. The thin profile and flexible interconnection segment between the two paddles allow for atragmatic intraocular insertion. Pieces of these devices have to fit together precisely. Conclusion, every effort should be made to reconstruct the natural iris. However, some patients do not have adequate residual iris tissue for primary reconstruction with iris suture technique. Prosthetic iris devices are an excellent option for correcting glare and photophobia in patients with total or partial aneuridia.